Sarah Alboum, uh, Emirati, uh, studying journalism. Ibrahim Hassoun, I'm Palestinian, studying digital production and storytelling. Uh, my name is Shahad Banan, I'm Syrian, and studying digital production and storytelling. So now we are in Mohammed bin Rashid School for Communications and we're going to talk to some students. One of them is in her freshman year, but two others are about to graduate. I'll start with Shahid. Shahid, why you chose media? I have a message to the world and I believe this, um, the media, which is what I'm doing is digital production, it sort of gives you a... Uh, a path of, of reaching out to a large number of people and probably creating a difference. Sarah, uh, you're majoring in journalism. Where do you want to work after you graduate? Well, hopefully I will um, have the chance to internship with CNN and then uh, we'll see how it goes on from there. Why you chose uh, a, a Western uh, media, uh, uh, not, uh, you didn't choose any of the Arab media? Well, um, the Western media is more stronger and has more impact. And me being a local, it, you don't really find them in the journalism sector uh, working in the, in the West side. You're studying digital, digital, digital media, production. digital production. And where do you want to be? Where, what do you want to work? I prefer to work in the European world, not even in the States or in the Arab world, in Europe. Why? Because I guess it's the... Uh, they, don't, they, they too, they, they don't have um, freedom of speech, but they still have it uh, more than the area here and more than the states. Do you have a certain cause for the Middle East you'd like to like, shed the light on and probably yeah. produce a film? Of course. I believe that there's a lot of corruption in the Middle Eastern governments and um, no freedom of speech, poverty. Sarah, you're veiled. Do you think you can be on Western media? That is um, a tough question. I've received that a lot. Um, well, I think anything is possible. If the veil would be a problem, then I honestly don't know what to do about it because I can't change who I am. If you work for one newspaper someday in the future and your editor doesn't want you to write a certain story about a sensitive topic here in UAE or any other Middle Eastern country, how do you go about it? Well, it depends what the <clears throat> topic is. I mean, if it has to do with religion or wearing the veil or not, th those sort of controversial topics, then I won't. Ibrahim, um, you're Palestinian, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, thousands of people, if not millions, mm -hmm. they don't have travel documents. We have travel documents, we don't have passports. No, you don't have passports, right. Mm -hmm. So. How do you deal with this issue? How, how does it affect you? It's, it's really, really bad. It's one of the worst things in my life. It stopped me from going to the States. And I had to leave Germany because of that. And there's no um, organizations that support me, even after I graduate. Not even in the Middle East, in the Arab world? Of course not. Shahd, uh, what would be your first project? Poverty, I'd say. Poverty where? Poverty in the world, um, specifically in Africa. Are you satisfied with what Arab media offers for their viewers in the Middle East? Uh, not at all. Why? Because it's, um, I think of it like um, brainwashing sometimes. It's, um, it's crazy how uh, the Arab media think of, of the people as uh, um, easy, probably, easy to convince. What you don't like about Arab media? They're not, they're not um, honest, I guess. And, the, and most of them are really biased. Sarah? Politics, especially in the Arab media, they're always involved. And so that's why you don't get to say anything you want or the more you want.